In this match, we're up against tier limit branded. A lot of it, a lot of master ranks, just going to be tier limit branded, cash tira, and labyrinth. So you're going to have to get used to it once you get to masters. But let's get right into it. So he's going to add poly, um, play the scream, rhino heart, bandit, or send three to grave, send a tier limit card, and he's going to send his Merly. He's got Medora and Crime already in the grave. He's going to go into Kit. Kit's probably going to search for his Merly. And he's going to activate milling 8 cards to the graveyard. So let's see what he mills here. Okay, he mills the trap. So now he gets to add Crime back to his hand. He also gets to special summon Rukalos. And he also gets to special summon Rhino Heart. And he also gets to add Rhino Heart back to his hand. So he's got some stuff going on here. Um... We look at our hand, he does add crime back to hand, so we kind of can't play evenly until we bait out the crime, because we also lose our battle phase. He goes to Grappa with the um, King of the Swamp, he has crime and a mystery card set. We're going to go into our turn, we have to activate Extravagance here, so we're going to go ahead and activate it. Draw two, not bad. We're going to activate Fire Formation Tenki, searching out our starter, our boy Mo. Activate Saga, summon Mo, and targeting him, he's not going to... Crime, but he's not going to Graffa either, so we still have to watch out for that. He's going to mill, he milled Siren and he milled the Ancient Vanguard. But we are going to special our um, Warrior, what's his name? In Ingenious Zukong. We maxi, the maxi was actually kind of like a bait because like you can't draw after you activate this card, but I was betting on the fact that he doesn't know that and he negates it because like if, if he didn't negate it I would have had one less interaction to deal with so it was kind of a risk that I took um, hoping that he would negate it and he sort of did with Grappa so now we just have to worry about the crime he's probably gonna he's summoning his shuffle back guy he's gonna shuffle back one of our monsters we're gonna put him back in the hand he doesn't crime that one either well I guess he can't because of the chain block with his own card he's gonna mill five more and he's gonna shuffle back our Zukong we're going to put him back in the extra deck and he's gonna summon his Rukal oh Dragostapelia so he's got a negate now we're gonna special him we're gonna special him and we're gonna activate so what he does is if there's more cards on the opponent's side of the field we can attack two monsters during our battle phase He's going to negate it. I'm going to activate my trap card. If he targets my card, I'm able to negate that. And I was hoping he'd prime it, but he didn't use prime, so his prime is still up. But we're in a decent spot here. It looks like he has one interruption left. We attack into his... So the reason I, I'm attacking all his tier monsters is because Crime needs to have a tier limit monster on the field to activate the um, negation. So I'm just getting rid of all his tier monsters right now. He plays Zuliak. Um... He doesn't fusion summon for some reason. I don't know why if he couldn't or what the reason was, but we're going to attack. Now he gets to pop a card. Now the card I pop is really important. I pop Scream. The reason is because all his trap cards are on the field or in the graveyard, so he's got no search. If I pop Suliak, he'd get a starter. If I pop Prime, he'd also get a starter off of the Banish Zone. So the reason I popped the middle one is because he gets nothing from it. Now I'm going to... Um, search for our level 7, Don, and Don's gonna summon, Don's gonna search for a Ancient Warrior, a Ambitious Calde, and we're gonna go into the Link 2. Now, the reason I searched for him was a slight mistake. I thought he would special summon, but I forgot I used it already. I was planning into going into a Abyss Dweller, um, and then just ending his career, but... I forgot, so that was a little slight mistake, but it's his turn, and he's got Crime, Suliak, and he's got nothing else. And I do want to show you guys my deck list before we get into more of the matches. So here it is. I changed it from the previous video. Um, and as you know, if you guys been on my stream, I was on a big losing streak in Master 5, never able to climb, but now I changed the list up a bit depending on what I saw during my stream and during my offline duels, and so we got a little bit of changes. We got still got the three max C, three, one, one, one. We did bring down Dawn to one, and we also brought down this Deception and Betrayal down to one as well. Um, in return, we added Nibiru and Red Reboot. 
Now, I was thinking of doing two red reboots and zero Nibirus, but Nibiru is good for um, like Kashtira or, or cards that like to summon a lot and they don't put up a negate in time to negate Nibiru. And also, Nibiru plus Evenly is a very good combo just because if you, if the opponent has a token and let's say you Evenly, they have to banish everything except that token. So Nibiru mandatorily puts a token on the opponent's field. So that's a pretty good combination. And we got the Imperms instead of Dark Rulers. Um, we had zero opponent interruptions besides Maxi, but that's just drawing cards. So we took out Dark Rulers for Imperms. And we did keep our trap card, it does come in handy. I think Ancient Warrior decks should have a, a one copy of this card, because it's it's I, f I feel like it's a very good card. Um, and we also added Triple Tactics Talent. Um, it does uh, have not synergy, like, I don't know, not unsynergy, but it doesn't synergize with Pot of Extravagance, because this card doesn't allow you to draw two cards. But since we're a deck that tries to OTK, if we do end up drawing these two, we just simply use the effect where we take control of a monster. And that gives us another monster, takes away a monster, gives us a better chance to kill them in one turn. So in our extra deck, we got um, Abyss Dweller, obviously, for two element. We got our three Ancient Warrior Double Dragons. We got Underclock Taker for the attack boost. We got our IP Mascarena into Crusadia or Underworld Goddess. Baguska, Downard, and Zeus, and Gaga does the extra burn damage as well. Time Thief's just a good rank 4 to go into, and our Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. As you'll see very soon, we combined Flare Metal Dragon with Don Ying's burn damage, so it was, it was 900 damage for every card effect, which was awesome. But yeah, here's my deck list that I updated to, and let's get right into the matches. Now this one was up against a Rika deck, and they were running Cactus Bouncer, which is pretty dangerous to our deck. Which, it's a, it's a card that doesn't let us special summon anything, so yeah, it's pretty scary. But we do have our Nibiru evenly matched combos I was talking about earlier. I'm going to be showing you two of the things I'm talking about during the deck list. So it's the Nibiru evenly plus the, um, the double burn damage. So he's going to special a whole bunch. He's going to summon his Primula, the Rika Fairy. Rank up into Rika Queen Strena. And then Plant Monster Graveyard to hand. And then sets to... I'm going to eat... I'm going to Nibiru because he was about to end his main phase. So I had to Nibiru basically. Um, the, and he goes into Teardrop Rika Queen. So the Xyz monster, if he's tributed, he gets to rank up into a higher plant Xyz monster. And now to use evenly, I have to control no cards. Well, to use evenly from the hand. So I went straight to battle phase, hoping that he would tribute out my Nibiru with with his with this card right here, um, with the with his effect, which he did. And then he gains 200. We go evenly. Now he has to banish everything but the token. Um, luckily, he called Maxi. He doesn't run evenly in this deck. Thank goodness. Um, but yeah. So now he just has the token. And we're going to activate our Ancient Warrior Saga. Three visits. Summon him. Summon him. And the reason I used Saga on this guy was because he prevents targeting. So if he had some effect where it targets a card, he wouldn't be able to target this card. Now we have a normal summon, we're going to add our Dawn, and Dawn's going to special from the three visits. Boom, we're going to get a search off, we're going to go into our Ancient Warriors, Valiant, Zangde, Bam. These two are going into our Red Eyes, Black, Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, and we're going to end our turn. So basically what this board has is 900 burn for every effect. We have a banished graveyard, we have a return to hand, and a pop with the strongest attack. So we got four really good interruptions. And Rika's a deck where you do have to activate a whole bunch of effects, so I thought this was the best way to go. We're going to pop his um, Rika pedal right away so he doesn't get a search. And then we're going to do 900 damage, and then 900 more. So the Zong, the Donying activates or it does the 400 burn damage prior to the effect, and the Red Eyes Flare does it after it resolves. That's why you'll see it do it after it resolves. 500, and then he's going to add a card. He's still got the Rika Petal on the field. Now he's going to activate more. Rika Glamour, 500 burn. He's on a really tight life point budget. He's got Cactus Bouncer though. Okay, 
goes into that. We're going to just keep on burning Enrica Queen Strena. Strena's going to detach out of Plant Monster from Graveyard to Hand, or Rika card. He's going to activate Tributing, and then that Tribute's going to summon an Xyz monster. And he's going to Spell Trap. He's going to set Rika's Cheat. Bam. Okay, he's got the 32. I think he's going to go straight to Battle Phase before he dies. Boom. And main phase two, he has Cactus Bouncer, sets Rika Sheet, and he's going to end his turn. Rika Princess negates the Lu Fang trying to switch sides, which actually helped me a lot. I can return the Xyz back to hand. So now we just have a starter. We have Xtrav as well. Rika Sheet, tributing out our guy, taking control of our other guy. We're going to Xtrav right here. We got Maxi evenly. They're not, not going to do too much, but we're going to search for our Mo. Moe's going to summon. Mo attacks Cactus Bouncer. Now we're going to search for level 4. And then level 4 is going to summon. We're going to return him to back to our hand. He, we're going to go into our Link 2. Link 2 is going to search. Alright, now this next duel is going to be up against a Kashtira tier player. And I do like his playing field. It looks really nice. Cheer, he's going to summon Fenrir. Kashtira Birth. He's going to get a search for Siren. Siren's going to activate. Send him Merly. Bam, 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 Kit. And Kit's gonna go search for Merly. Oh no, Rhino Heart. Okay. Activates. Summons Rhino. Mills 5, sends it here. Nice. It's more consistent. That way he gets a double fusion. So he's going into Rukalos. And then the next one is gonna be Kit again. So his second Kit. And then he's gonna summon his Rise Heart, go into level 7 into Shangarida. And then Shangarida under standby phase is also going to summon Fenrir. So he's got a decent amount of interruptions. Summons Fenrir. We're going to activate search for Mo. Activate our Warrior Saga. Targeting him, summoning her, searching for our Lufang. Activating this. We're going to activate this right away. The reason is because if I activate a monster effect, he's going to screw us over. And so I have to just go to battle phase. We're going to raise his attack up. Boom, attacking Kit. And then Lufang attacking Fenrir. Now we can activate monster effects for free. So we're going to activate our Virtuous. Summoning our untarget the guy that prevents other um, Ancient Warriors from being targeted. We have Dawn Ying in hand, so we're going to special Dawn from the hand. Dawn from hand searches. Searches for our Valiant. And Valiant goes into Link 2. Link 2 searches our spell card. Spell card activates, summoning our Mo from hand. And we're going to burn him a little bit. We don't really care about our graveyard being banished because we can't even get them back anyway. So he's going to lock our pen zones because Ancient Warriors are the famous pendulum deck. And then we're going to search for our battle trap. We're going to return the kit back to the hand. Mo's going to return the Xyz back to the hand. He's going to use the field spell to destroy this i don't know why he destroys this card he should have targeted this card because that's the only target he could have had or the spell card but it's whatever spell card the spell card gets to um play another ancient warrior spell anyway so it doesn't really matter we're gonna banish his rukalos but he's gonna shuffle back with mudora so we don't get the banish but we do get to force out his mudora and then we pop him with our lufang is it Lufang or Lu- Oh, it is Lufang, okay. His turn, and he plays Book of Eclipse. Um, he's gonna special summon from Grave, or attempt to. I'm gonna just send our trap, put that back in his hand. So if you chain against the continuous spell, they don't actually get to resolve. And since that's only once per turn, he doesn't get to do it again. And end phase, everyone flips back up. We draw four cards, and we are gaming. Now we draw a card, and we win.